How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to show you a really quick bug out bag shelter or get home bag shelter or just a very quick shelter in general. One, to set up and then two, to get out of. Like say you have to leave very quickly, immediately because maybe an opposition is coming in or you want to leave at a specific time or in the middle of the night you hear something and maybe someone's tracking you. Just worst case scenarios. This isn't the most comfortable, but it is very quick and easy to take care of. So let's dive into it. So to start this shelter off, you honestly don't even need that much. I run with a sit pad. I like it. You don't even have to use this if you don't want to, but it's going to protect, you know, some of that heat loss or especially if it's raining, which we're trying to avoid. That's kind of the main thing is getting you soaking wet. Now, the next thing is just a typical GI poncho. Now, you can use them in OCP, multi-cam, you know, Scorpion, ATAX, whatever you want, whatever blends in roughly with your environment. I have an M81 here just as an example, and it's fairly easy to get this shelter set up. So... You're actually going to, there's two ways to do it. You can take your backpack off and do this. Particularly, I like leaving it on. It's not as comfortable, like I said, but if you're leaving in a hurry, this is the way to go. So I apologize if I bump the mic a little bit, but it's just the nature of the game. To show you guys, you know, good stuff i gotta bump the mic every now and then so go ahead place your cover back on what you want to do is you want to find a nice tree kind of like this put your sit pad down and honestly you're just going to lean up against the tree with your backpack on rifle's going to go alongside you it's kind of fetal position as you can see, if my mic is picking it up, fetal position, you're just kind of like this. Now, the cool thing is you can drape this over top of you, and you can put a candle down here if you want. It'll conceal the light from visual, but it'll keep you warm, especially if it's really cold. You can put a swagman roll if you want underneath of this to give it another insulation value. And tuck your arms in, kind of lean back, and there you go. You can just go to sleep just like this. Like I said, it's not very comfortable, but you can look around you very easily with just moving your head. And your feet are in a stable position to get up and leave in a moment's notice. So if you hear something in the middle of the night, like, oh, I got to wake up. Cool. Start looking, start scanning, right? Especially if you have night vision or something like that, this is a very good decent position. Now I get it. It's hard to look it directly at your six o'clock, but real slowly you can look. The tree protects you. There's always that vulnerability. If you're alone, you're going to have to take chances. So set up where you're going to do this in likely, avenue of, likely avenues of approach. Maybe they're coming from this direction, this direction. Orient yourself in the most likely laziest area where someone would come. I have a kind of a little bit of a game trail where we're leading off there and one over here down to my left. So I can easily see both of these right where I am. So like I said, if it starts to pour rain, you tuck everything in, put hood up. Tuck everything in. Put your arms in and you can just hang out. It's not as comfortable, but the benefit of this, especially, is to get up and leave in a moment's notice. If you hear something, slowly pull your arms out, right? Go ahead for that rifle. You're looking around, okay, maybe there's someone over there. I have to leave now. What I like to do is I like to hike this up, kind of as high as I can from my knees, if you can, grab your rifle and immediately just stand up. And you're on the move immediately right now. You can go. I can go any which way I wanna go. Now, if you have to leave your sit pad, you can. Sometimes, 
folks like to attach a sit pad to their backpack, which is very smart. Just some kind of, you know, small pad, like uh, a tree stand pad or something like that. You just tie it in. So every time you sit down, you have a pad. You can do that if you want. But this is a really quick, easy way to do stuff. There's also multiple different layers you can do it. It's easy to get on and off, right? There we go, I'm out of it. Soaking wet, attach it to the backpack of the exterior so it dries out as you're hiking, say after a rain, and now we're back in normal stuff. So maybe another one is, so how do you fight with magazines and whatnot? Well, you can always pull it off to the side. You know, like you're, it'll drape off to the side. If you want, grab the whole poncho and tuck it in over the left side. Now all my mags are exposed and I can fight through that if I need to, or you can just tear it off. But this can also be used as a normal shelter as well. So that's my quick kind of bug out or very quick shelter system to get up and just leave. You don't have to do a tree, you can be a rock ledge, you could be anything. Honestly, you could probably just be in some shrubs and do it with. I just like to have some back support. You take your backpack off if you want to, just mind, be mindful, it's going to be slower. So just a thought process. So other than that, if you guys like this kind of stuff, we definitely have uh, Patreon. Amazon, you can pick up some of these ponchos and stuff from Amazon. I have them in the description box below. It helps me. I get a couple cents off of it if you buy something. So it really helps out the channel. You see more of this kind of stuff. So I greatly appreciate it. PayPal, Patreon, that kind of stuff. Like, comments. Comments are awesome. You know, as in you suck, you're great. All that kind of stuff. Whatever it is, it works. So I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day.